How to run a fast 5k like Candice Bekele? Watch this video. Candice Bekele is one of the most well-known athletes and to be considered one of the greatest distance runners of all time. He has the world record in the 5,000, the world record in the 10,000. He had a world record in a half marathon. He's the second fastest ever to run the actual marathon. He has great 1,500 meter times and mile times. So he's one of the best athletes ever. But we're gonna be talking about his 5,000 meters and how he ran that 5,000 meters and how he got to run those insane times. So if you guys don't know, you guys are living under a rock again. You guys don't know who this is. He ran a 13, or sorry, 12, 37, 5,000, and a 26, 17 in the 10,000. I mean, if you look at the VO2 max of his 10,000 meter run, it has the highest VO2 max out of any run out of every race coming all the way from one mile all the way up to marathon other than Elliot Kipchoge's uh, sub two hour marathon, but that, we're not gonna throw that in there because it's not a real world record. So for any world record, this 5,000 meters has the highest VO2 dot out of any run. Or sorry, it's 10,000, and the 5,000 is second. Personally for me, the 5,000 meters was one of my favorite races. I ran a 5,000 meters back in college and I ran my PR of 1824. And I ran and I got 50th out of 50 people. The fastest guy ran like 14 something, or I think it's 1510, ran a really fast time. And with the 5K, I realized a lot of it has to do with increased in mileage, but not going crazy. You don't have to be running 130 miles a week to be doing this, you could be doing 80 miles a week. You know, at the time when I ran my PR, I was running 20, 25 miles a week, 20 miles a week. I wasn't running a high amount of mileage but you do need to do those long runs and stuff like that because that's going to help you, you run, run a little bit faster also. So we're going to be going over today's meal. I'm going to be talking a little bit, of, a little bit more about Candice Bekele and then I'll be also going over how he actually runs the 5,000 meters fast and what you can do. So one little cool tip is that every single race other than the 4 and the 800 have negative splits. This means that the second half of the race was faster than the first half. The 10K world record just got broken. He ran a 13.13 for his first 5K and a 13.11 or a 13.06 they said for his second 5K. So he actually did negative splits, he ran faster. And the reason this happens is, is most people go at a little bit slower than world record pace, a little bit faster than world record pace, or at world record pace and have extra energy at the end. Like when Elliot Kipchoge first broke the marathon world record at two hours, 31 minute, um, two hours, one minute, 39 seconds, yeah, he went out at like a 201 something, you know, for his first half marathon, which was faster than the world record pace, but for him, it wasn't that fast, so he just did negative splits, right? Someone that has as, as way faster than the actual record at the time or faster than it can do negative splits. The reason the four and the eight are not negative splits, because the 800, if you go out too slow, it's very hard to keep that speed up for the next lap. And the same thing with the four. If you start out a little bit slow, it's hard to kick with 200 meters left because you have a lot of lactic acid build up. With the 200, however, it's easier with the 200 because you're already, you're trying to go full, full speed. 400 and 800 are not going 100% full speed. And the 100 obviously makes it sense because you have to do the starting blocks. And then mile above, you don't have as much lactic acid build up and you're able to kick at the end of those races. So if you look at like the women's mile world record just got broken this last year. Again, negative splits. You look at like, you know, the 5,000s, and you look at anything else, all negative splits. Also the 400 meter hurdles are not negative split either, because that's a, that's a 400. But everything else is negative splits. You know, even the 100 meter hurdles, negative splits. So if you're gonna do a race and you wanna run your fastest times, I would recommend, if you're gonna do a mile, for example, you're gonna do a five minute mile, I would say start out at a 115, a 116, a 117, or maybe a 114. If you know like I can break a five minute mile, like you know in your head like I can I can run faster in five minutes, I could probably run 450, start out at that 114 then. If you have extra kick and you run faster, that's fine. I've done a mile race where I started out 
and and I went really slow, and I sprinted the last 300 meters and ran 5.17 for a PR, and I didn't know how fast I could run at the time, and so then as I started getting used to that, I realized I could probably run close to a five minute mile. I thought I was only running 5.20 at the time. So when you have all that extra kick, you'll just run, you'll, it's better that you know you can run faster than better knowing that you can't, you don't know how fast you can run. So if you start out and try to run 440 and you just die, you don't know what your fastest time is, right? If you run uh, 515 and you know you can run faster, the next race go a little bit faster and then maybe you'll PR. So that's a little tip that will help you guys with that. I'm gonna go to the store and we're gonna pick up some food and I'm gonna show you guys an epic keto meal and then we're gonna talk about how Kenneth Bekele can actually run fast. So what were Kenneth Bekele's splits? So I'm gonna talk about them and then I will put them up on the screen so you guys can screenshot if you guys want to or whatever. So his first kilometer split was a 233.2, two minutes, 33 seconds, 0.2, which is around a 405 mile pace, 406 mile pace. Then he ran the next one in 332.2, so he ran a second faster, which if you add those two up, that's about a 405 minute mile pace. So he ran his first mile about 405, 406, which is still really, really fast, right? Now at the time, the world record was 1239, right before he ran this. So technically it wasn't world record pace, but it was still fast, right? It wasn't at world record pace, but it was still pretty close to it. That's why I said, it's a little bit slower than world record pace. Well, then he came in on his next one, which is his third kilometer. He came in and he ran a 231, let me turn on my car, he ran a 231.8. So again, that's still a really, really fast time. But if you have that out, again, that's four, right? Well, then he comes and drops a 230.5, which that is fast. That's getting there to where now his average pace is going down, you know, below that 405, going down to the 404 average. And that's almost a sub four minute mile pace one kilometer, right? That's fast. I mean, for one kilometer, if you want to run sub four minute mile, you have to run about 229 or so, 230, right? 230 on the track if you're doing like a 1600, but if you're doing an actual mile, it's a little bit faster. And then his last one was 229.4. So every single one was just a little bit faster as he got faster and faster. If he averaged 229.4 for all of them, he would have ran a 1227, would have gotten four minute mile pace flat. Four, minute, four minutes per mile for 3.1 miles. That's insane, right? He would have done that. He ran 404 is what he ran though. He ran, his average pace was 404 per mile. So could he have gone faster? I think that was basically his limit right there. He maybe could have ran a second faster, but nothing to where he's gonna drop down per mile. He wouldn't have ran a second faster per mile. Now, maybe it's possible for someone to break a four minute mile. I don't know. You know, maybe someone may break the four minute mile pace for, for three miles or for the 5K. I don't know, but that's a crazy time. He did negative splits like I was trying to explain. So we're gonna head over to the gym now. I'm gonna go on my walk at the gym and get some stuff done. And then I'm gonna show you guys an epic keto meal. And I will reveal to you guys why I think he runs super, super fast. Guys, so I decided not to show you my meal because I've been showing you guys my meals 24 seven. I've been showing you what I've been eating and it's the same stuff. I'm just eating the same food, same things. So why am I gonna keep showing you guys this over and over again? There's no point. Right? So, what I'm doing right now is I'm trying to get my steps in. Not just steps, but I have my watch. And so on my watch, it has an activity thing which shows how much activity I've done throughout the day. And it's just, it's just the basis of height, weight, and you know, heart rate, and calories burned, whatever. It's just a basic thing. And it goes to 100%, and whenever I get to around you know, 100%, I feel like I did some activity during the day. So I'm trying to get this to 100% every day. And that's why I'm going on this walk. So I think the big reason why Kenneth Bekele ran this world record, there's a couple different reasons. One of the first ones is, is his mileage. In 2015 at least, his coach said he was only running 80 miles a week. I don't know if he was doing this in, uh, you know, when he ran the world record, you know, 10 or so years before that, because it was, you know, it's been since 10 years. It was like 2004 when he ran it or something. So I don't know, but if he was, that's a good amount of mileage for a 5,000 meter run and he had a lot of speed so i think that really helped him and he had a good mindset and the last reason i really think this is what pushed him 
is when Haile uh, Galabasi, I can't if I said his name right, he was running really fast times too. He ran 12.39. So he was pushing him to run faster because they were, you know, those are like literally two of the best distance runners to ever live. And I feel like they pushed each other because I mean, the world record before they were even out there was, you know, in the 12, 1249 I think it was or even even slow you know even slow in that 1250 so they pushed the boundaries of that so I think that's what kind of got them to be able to run uh, you know it got him to be able to run that world record and I do think it's possible for someone to run you know faster than that I think it's possible for someone to break a four minute mile pace I think it will happen I think for the two miles someone could be running a 745 I think that we just haven't had enough two miles to do that and I just think there hasn't been enough people pushing themselves in the 5,000 meters to run these, you know, world record times. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video though. If you guys did, please give this video a thumbs up. If you guys have any other videos you guys like to, me to see, any other full days of eating to any of these other videos, comment down in the comment section below and let me know what you'd like to see. And all that being said, well, hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys next time.